After signing up, the user is asked to fill in the basic information according to his personal and company details. Filling in the data now will save time by autofilling in the future. If you're planning to work with a team, it's good to start with inviting users by going to the organization configuration, Users. The user will receive an invitation via email. You can set an hourly rate for a user, pick their position, role, and type in the contact details. We will talk more about roles in a second. This is how the dashboard looks after logging in. The dash contains a summary of chosen modules, for example, upcoming company issues, personal to-do list, personal scribbles, upcoming payments, favorite projects, or whatever's the user's choice. Click the gear icon to drag and drop elements. You can personalize the look of your dashboard and set lots of other things by going to the configuration. Just click your avatar in the upper right corner. First of all, you're able to choose the language. Then you can fill in or change the contact details. In the Users tab, you can add new users, manage their accounts by editing the information, adding a user as a coworker, or connecting the user to a coworker. Below, you can set new roles. What's important is that here you can configure the authorizations for different roles. Fill in the role's name, description, and if needed, choose a primary role for this given role. As you can see, by setting a role, you're able to give certain users access to selected features and modules. There's also a Sales tab where you can save important documents, set taxes, and create expense categories. The Preference section is essential because it gives a user the chance to personalize the system according to his needs. Now here is where you can configure your dashboard and decide which widgets and buttons will appear on it. When it comes to discovering the next modules, under the dashboard you can find your agenda. By using the New Calendar button, you can create a new calendar. You can have different calendars for different purposes. From the calendar view, you can keep an eye on your plans by switching between daily, weekly and monthly views. You can filter issues by calendar types and issue statuses. From here, you can create an event, meeting or task. Just complete the window with all the needed details. Attach files, assign coworkers and add comments. Decide if an event, meeting or task should be recurring and how often you want it to repeat. Here is where you can create your own simple to-do lists and gain access to all your overdue and completed tasks. You can give each task a priority, deadline and mark it as favorite. Use filters to switch between daily, weekly or monthly views. Also, switch between completed and overdue tasks. By checking this, you can show the finished tasks. Drag and drop to change the order of your list. In the contact module, you have access to a list of your company contacts and contact people. Filter by name, city or source to find crucial information. Add a new company using the button in the upper right corner. By clicking the arrow, you can check basic information regarding a given contact or just click its name to see all the details. Apart from basic information like founding date or company size, you can also check the assigned contact people, assigned projects, notes, deadlines, files, revenues, expenses, clauses or activities related to a given contact. Of course, from here you can add or edit all the mentioned information. Campaigns help you manage the leads generated on your website. With our WordPress plugin, you can conveniently integrate your website with Firmby and automate your customer acquisition and recruitment processes. Create candidate application forms and implement them on your WordPress page. All the collected leads can be incorporated into a campaign module and then used inside the system. Now, the project module is one of the most crucial modules inside Firmby. Here you can see a list of all your projects along with associated clients, deadlines, statuses and project's priorities. You can also mark certain projects as favorite. To set up a new project, fill in the details regarding the start and the end date, project budget, status, methodology, priority and risk. Add useful tags and fill in the description so that your whole team stays on the same page. After creating a project, you get access to a Kanban, which gives your team space to exchange tasks, comment, and collaborate on a project. From here, you can create and distribute tasks, meetings, and events between team members. Each issue allows you to attach files and comments. You can add custom repetitions or milestones and decide into which calendar a certain issue should fall into. The Generate To-Do option makes a task appear on your to-do list. You can add and name your own project stages inside a Kanban. Inside the project, you also have access to the project agenda, project details, 
project files and documents. The Revenue tab lets you check all the invoices related to a project. From here, you can edit each of the invoices and send them to your clients. In the Expenses tab, you can check the costs related to a project. The Timesheet is a place where you can check your team's time logs, discover how long do certain activities take, and what's their cost. You can generate an expense based on each time log. Users can log their time inside the project or from the sidebar icon. There is a possibility to fill in the work time by hand or use the automatic time tracker option. One of the very useful features are automatic and repetitive check-ins that will motivate your team to share regular updates on projects. Questions can be sent to the employee's email address on a daily, weekly, monthly, or any other specified frequency. Just choose the right question and decide to whom, when, and at what time you want to address it. The user will receive an email with the information about the pending request at the indicated time and day. The link in the email will redirect him straight to the specific project in the application. Remember, any team member with proper access can see answers to questions, comment, and react to someone else's reply. In the Activities tab, you have a summary of all activities related to a project. As you may have guessed, in the Documents module, you can create and attach documents and find the document you need by filtering them by document name, contractor, or document type. The Coworking module is all about recruitments. In the Candidates tab, we have candidate profiles from multiple sources, like LinkedIn or Facebook. Assess candidates and store all details related to the recruitment process, like notes, deadlines, CVs, portfolios, clauses, and related recruitment activities. Maintain a list of candidates sorted by the recruitment stage. Use a Kanban to collaborate when hiring. Compare and evaluate applications. Invite the best candidates for interviews by sending them an email. In the HR Profile section, you can keep a list of all your HR profiles. Create a new HR profile by specifying all the details of a certain role. You can add your recruits to the HR Profile team and then collaborate when hiring. If required, add your own recruitment stages. Project posts will let you track all your job ads on different websites. Create a project post by specifying all the details related to a certain position. When it comes to the project post description, you can use the previously saved templates. If you want, you can receive reminders about expiring project posts. After a successful hire, add a candidate as a coworker, which will make him appear here, in the coworkers list. From the coworkers list, you can add tasks to specific team members and view details related to their work. Firmby helps you gain control over your firm's finances, products, offers, and manage your project budget. This is what the last section is all about. Store a list of all revenues and easily discover who's the customer, what's the status of the payment, or what are the due dates. From here, you can send an invoice directly to a client or edit it. Click on a given invoice to discover more details. You can also add a new revenue by clicking the New Tax Invoice slash New Bill button. Gain an overview to all your firm's costs thanks to the Expenses tab. With Expenses, it's possible to make and track partial payments. Just check and edit the information regarding the amount due whenever needed. When creating new expenses, you're able to add new items along with the information according to their percentage of participation. Below, you have a module in which you can add a list of all your products and services and specify the details. The Products and Offers tab lets you add a list of all your products and offers along with their details and track their stocks. Here, you can define the products or services which you usually sell or provide. They appear as a list with the product name, code, stock, unit, tax, price, and gross. Select products from the database for transactions. You won't need to fill in the details again. Add stock tracking for selected products, which will let you keep track of them and complete your inventory on an ongoing basis.